Hey guys, last but not least, what we have here is a UAG Active Strap. So one thing I like about this is because it, the look, I mean, these are really heavy metal components for the hardware. That is, um, the whole band itself, it like, it reeks of quality. What we have here is some UAG red logo branding. Red and black, I, I will take anything red and black, whether it be a car, dashboard, anything. Let's see some of the features. The security, you need to take your watch along for the ride. UAG straps are built to go further. Now, um, I will do a more comprehensive review and I will show you guys it compared to like the, the original Apple straps. It is significantly thicker and better well made. If Apple were to make active straps, I'm pretty sure this is how they would do it. But damn, this thing is solid surgical grade stainless steel which I love. Then we have ballistic ripstop nylon and they, they literally they sage the hell out of this. This isn't going to come out. You have the Velcro so you could basically have like multiple different adjustments. The only thing that I don't like though is that I have a holder that I usually put my AirPods in and it is meant to fit the Nike Plus sports band. I'm not you're gonna be able to use that here. But um, um, in the box itself, we see hook and loop fastener security, stainless steel custom hardware built to go further. The active strap is designed to be one of the strongest straps on the market. That is true. Giving you the peace of mind to take your watch along on the most rigorous activities. I'm gonna put it on my wrist and I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, guys, so as you can see, I have the two pieces, both combined. So what do we have is a UAG face for the Apple Watch and we have the watch band itself. So we have that bumper to ensure that it does not hit, even if I'm in the gym and uh, carrying my head of security yeets my watch across the room, it will not destroy. This branding is sick. It gives a really tight custom fit and the buttons are very accessible. And that, um, that black and orange is epic. I was thinking about the orange band, but would not be able to actually use it in every single scenario so yeah so far 10 out of 10 i mean i love uag's product design the band itself is a bit pricey i mean 60 us for a watch band uh, it could have been cheaper but i mean come on i've bought the cheaper bands they don't feel as premium as this so i guess it is what you pay for um so the good uh, it looks 10 out of 10 people will be asking about it um the bad the bad would be that the screen is still unprotected um in terms of the Band for the hand, um, in, in terms of the bracelets, I think the only bad would be you wouldn't be able to clip as much accessories. Like a lot of people have clips for the bands. You could put the airport, but that is a non-issue. And then we have the, the disadvantages of having a cloth band and that it'll take a little bit longer to dry than a leather band. But uh, all in all, I, I really do think that there are any disadvantages. Um, When I slip the band in, you have to make sure that it is in the correct orientation. Um, I put it on the wrong orientation at first and it slid all the way out. So before you wear this watch, test it, test the band to make sure that it is secured. If not, it will just slide out of the, the, um, the, uh, the portion of the Apple Watch that was meant for the band. Anyhow guys, um, I would say 10 out of 10 must buy, especially with right now the extended the Black Friday sale, 30% off any purchase. So yeah, 10 out of 10. I mean, this is probably, this is, okay, besides um the, there was something, I think it's on um, the Unicorn Beetle case. So, um, that is probably still my number one case, but this is a close number too. Anyhow guys, peace out.